Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I would love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you are into this video, if you could go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love communicating with you guys in the comments down below. Now let's get started. Today I'm going to be doing another unboxing video. I got some good responses when I did my last one and it's some videos I really enjoy making. Obviously these bags cost a pretty penny so it's not like I can do these videos all the time but if it's content that you do enjoy then just let me know and I'll try to do these more often. The bag that we will be unboxing today is the Dior Ultra Matte Saddle Bag and I got it in the color black and it is so beautiful and I can't wait to show it to you guys. We have the bag right here and it's still in the original shopping bag. I just picked it up yesterday yesterday um, from the Dior store in the shops at Buckhead and it's packaged so beautifully. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to save this moment for this video so you guys could experience it with me. So we're going to go ahead and start unboxing. Here it just has this cute little, <laughs> my mom called it a Christmas tree ornament, but it's just a cute little star that says Dior and it is holding the handles of the bag together. So I'm going to go ahead and untie that. And it's just a little gold charm, star, whatever, um, and it just says Dior on it. Super cute. So now we are just opening up the bag and we have to take the box out. And like I said, it's packaged so beautifully. Isn't that gorgeous? I've always loved like ribbons and bows and stuff. So stuff like that is just so pretty to me. So now just opening up the box and you'll see there's you know just some paper in there to keep it nice and protected and the first thing you see when you open the box is going to be that dust bag and it just says Dior embossed on it in gold super pretty and it has drawstrings I definitely will be using this to store it most of the time some of my bags I just let sit out but this one um, it's matte so it can get you know dirty fingerprints whatever super easy so i'd rather just keep it in the dust bag for storage so now i'm just going to take off some of this extra protection that they have um, on the bag and like i said since it is matte i definitely was sure to um, wash my hands make sure there was no oils or anything on my hands before i started dealing with it because i didn't want it to get all you know fingerprinty and oily and greasy So here we have the bag and you can see the little iconic D emblem hanging off of it and then we're going to go ahead and open it up and you know it has the magnetic closure. It's definitely a very spacious bag. Um, I took all the stuff out so you can see inside, very spacious, definitely big enough to hold my phone. Um, like I mentioned on a previous video, I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. It also has um, a little zip pocket in there just to hold you know smaller things that you don't want getting lost in the bag but like I said very spacious definitely big enough to hold your phone wallet keys it's actually a lot bigger than I was expecting and I also want to mention that the actual flap on the bag it's still that um, matte material but the interior is definitely like a suede material so here we have like a little back pocket where you can store other little extra things and just showing you guys the rest of the features of the bag, the C and D for Christian Dior. And I love that this hardware is black on this bag. The one with the gold hardware, gorgeous too, but I think it just makes this one a little bit more versatile. Overall, I love this bag. I think it is gorgeous. I think it's very versatile and wearable. You can dress it up or down. The one um, con that I have about it is I think that the strap isn't really long enough for it to be a shoulder bag, but great as a handbag. 
course, to combat that, you can get the longer shoulder straps, which I probably will at a later date. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you enjoy this type of content, just let me know. I would love to get more of it out to you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!